Coventry United TV interviews are proudly sponsored by Current, building bespoke software to increase sales and improve your business process. Visit current.it for more information. Well, it's been a successful weekend for Coventry United as a club. The first team are through to the fourth round of the FA Vars, and now the ladies are through to round three of the Women's FA Cup. We're here with Jay Bradford, the Coventry United ladies manager. Jay, tell us your thoughts on today's results. Uh, I felt like we made slightly harder work of it than it probably needed to be. Um, but, you know, we got there in the end and I think these sort of games on these sort of pitches you just have to dig deep and pull yourself through the other side. Of course, it was a much tougher task than the 9-1 victory against Plymouth last time out. But it was there were a few similarities as well. I mean, a lightning start again, 12-minute penalty. Did you think at that point that we could be in for another successful day? Yeah, you know, obviously it's against a great penalty by Shanice. Um, we were... <laughs> We were never going to repeat last week because Plymouth were never going to allow that to happen. They were never going to travel this distance again the following week and, and be subject to what they were subject to last week. So, you know, we prepared all week for what they might do and how they might set up. Um, and it just took us slightly longer to adjust to it than I would have liked, especially considering that we worked on it and we discussed it. So, yeah, you know, it was a good start. Uh, but then we let them straight back into the game at the other end by not using our brain. Yeah, that brings me on to um, my next question. Of course, two minutes later, after the penalty, a brilliant breakaway by Blaze, and of course, a player who we, we know is dangerous on the ball. I mean, why, why was that? Was it just simply taking the eye off the ball? I think we were just a little bit slow to react to the situation that we were in. You know, um, obviously, she needs to hold her hands up straight away, and she knows that she could have just probably just clipped it long or even just rolled it out. Um, but credit to her, she was trying to play, so you can't be too harsh on her because she is trying to look to find a pass and get us back out. So, you know, it's one of those, we've, we've got to learn from it and we've, we've got to have another look at it and, as a group and, and make sure it, it doesn't get repeated again. But it was a real battle from first minute to 90th minute and the girls ground out the result in brilliant fashion. I mean, that shows real depth of character, doesn't it? Yeah, and I said this to them at half-time, you know, we're being tested now. People are coming here and testing us because, you know, we are still unbeaten. Uh, which, which again, you know, that takes character and people are going to test that character and push you as far as you can go and I felt like the second half we came out and we stood up to that challenge. I think we could have questioned it in the first half, we weren't quite at the races, but second half, you know, we came out, we worked hard for each other, played with a little bit more intelligence. I thought Lois was superb, I thought she was exceptional um, and then, you know, Tash in the middle again, plays how she plays and and kind of dominates the middle for us, which allows people like Shannon and Foremost to then get on the ball and be a little bit more adventurous. I mean, this may be the same Plymouth team as last week, virtually, with very few changes, but this was a completely different performance from Plymouth. What were the core differences between the Plymouth of this week and the Plymouth of last week? They just, I think they were just slightly more compact. I think they kind of played in, in their units a little bit more than they did last week. I thought last week they tried to come out at us and press us and try and nick it off us in our backyard and they didn't quite get there last week but this week they gave us a, they gave us a lot more space coming out from the back and they just sat a little bit deep and you know to be fair to them it worked for them you know, they had a lot of joy but we just needed to be patient and keep the ball which second half we did and we they got nowhere near us second half we didn't feel. Well United's success this season has been built on uh, brilliant ground play, quick passing, quick movement. It was pretty difficult to do that today on a pitch like this, a lot of rain over the last 48 hours making for a pretty slippy and heavy pitch. How did that affect the game plan today? We always still want to look to play because that's that's what we do and that's how we play. But there is occasions where it just you do need to change that up a little bit. And today we saw that, you know, to, to play on this pitch would have been really difficult. And you know, full credit to Davitry for getting the game on because I was very very surprised I didn't get a phone call to say it was off. Uh, but you know, pitch is the same for both teams. You've just got to get on with it. And the pitches are only going to get worse going into sort of January time. Of course, it was so close between both sides until the very end. It was only late on when Amy Wavin got the uh, the winning goal from the header. Did extra time penalties ever enter your mindset? Were you preparing for that uh, possibility towards the end? No, not really. Not at that point because we were dominating. I felt we were always going to go on and get the winner, especially with people like Lois playing the way they were and Amy was getting into some really good positions. And, you know, those two again have linked up and scored as the winner. So... Yeah, at that point, no, I wasn't. I wasn't concerned because we were completely dominated. It was just, it was just who was going to score and when we were going to score. And finally, the last two games of 2018, both cup fixtures against Chichester and Birmingham West Midlands. How do you want to round off 2018? I want to stay unbeaten. That's got to be our aim. You know, we've got high standards and expectations, and we have to keep striving to meet them. Um, next week is, you know, that game's probably not going to go ahead because I know Chichester did play today, so I think their FA Cup game will take priority so 
whether another game gets put in, I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, we, we want to finish on high and we want to finish unbeaten. Well, congratulations, Jay, and thanks for your time. Thank you.